Hola, hola, Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons. Here's your 2018 little reading. <clears throat> now keep in mind, this is just, when you come into view, this video is when you were meant to see it. So this could be a blip in 2018 or it could be a longer period of time, however it resonates. Now, please have patience with me in regard to these readings. I'm gonna be doing 144 readings and I'm trying to do them and upload them as fast as I can as a mom, as a business owner, multi-business owner. So my time is a little limited, so you're just going to be patient um, for me to get to your sign, all right? Uh, the first portion of this, I will read over the traits of your sun and moon sign. I will lay the cards out, and then I will end it there, okay? If you want my interpretation of the cards and you want clarification, you can go into the Vimeo link that I'm going to list below and purchase the second part of the video, okay? But if you just want, I'll tell you what the cards are as I lay them out. And if you want to just go ahead and make your own interpretation or look them up, um, that's not really how Tarot works, but I'm leaving that open to people, then you're free to do that, okay? Also keep in mind, if you want a quick question answered, you can go, I'm on Instant Go. And all you have to do is put in a search for Veronica Garnet. I think I'll put the link below also. And then you can ask me a question. I'll get back to you anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, okay, if you want a quickie, okay? Um, <clears throat> other than that, let's get to it. So as a sun in Capricorn and a moon in Cancer, you're, you're a tough, wait, you have a tough working class image that is actually a disguise for an authentic depth and sensitivity. In this combination, the sun and moon are opposite signs, so most likely your early environment was quite poor or even heartless. This nurtured in you a strong sense of self-sufficiency and autonomy, as well as a cynical outlook. You attempt to maintain a hard, rough, calm, and removed image on the surface, but notwithstanding that casual air, you are actually a very tender and emotionally susceptible person. Your main problem is insecurity. In order to deal with those entrenched feelings of insufficiency and uncertainty, you can either give in to despair and pessimism, or you build a hard shell to protect yourself from pain and torment. Consequently, many of your anxieties are rooted in your youth. Your challenge is to start to identify your understanding as a strong point rather than a flaw and permit your true self to come forth. You're a competent person and you should appreciate yourself and your gifts. Two significant things for a Capricorn Cancer to learn are self-acceptance and self-love. Your combination empowers you with outstanding leadership possibilities and a lot of charm, but you rarely, you rarely take advantage of these assets. You're not part of the, the crowd in any way and have no desire to lead others or to be led by someone. You're an independent type, essentially, and you prefer the comfort of doing things alone. Unfortunately, voluntary exile can expand in a deep isolation and loneliness when added to that glum outlook of yours. It's necessary for you to be fairly active socially regardless, regardless of whether you are your own boss. Emotional issues may prevent a flourishing and equal romantic relationship, but you have an overwhelming need to be loved. You're in many ways clever, affectionate, and compassionate. You're skilled to see underneath external impressions and your flexibility has changed enables you to formulate new ways of understanding. Once you conquer your self-doubt, there's little you cannot achieve, and the only enemy on the path to success will be you. Your memory is remarkable, as is your sharp wit. You are direct and outspoken in pointing out details, including ones that escape even the keenest of observers. So those are the general traits, textbook traits, of a sun in Capricorn and moon in Cancer. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angel, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons for the year of 2018? Can you please show us what's surrounding them at this present time, what they're leaving in the year 2017, what's coming in the year of 2018, what they should focus on, what energies they should focus on in 2018, and what will be their general outcome in 2018. Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons, the year 2018. Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me what is surrounding Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons at this present time? 
Okay, you have the Three of Swords in reversed. And can you show us what Capricorn Sun, Cancer's Moons are leaving in 2017 or left 2017? Okay, the Two of Swords in the upright. Can you show us what's coming or what Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons can expect 2018? What can they expect? This card. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Yay. I was getting worried. Can you show us the energies that Capricorn Cancer should focus on? The Five of Wands in the upright. And then finally, what will be their general outcome in 2017? For Capricorn Sun, Cancer Moons. We have the Hierophant. In the upright. Okay, so just to recap, what surrounds you at the present time is the Three of Swords in reverse. What you left in the year 2017, we have the Two of Swords. Moving forward into what's coming in 2018, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Energies you should focus on, Five of Wands in the upright. And then finally, for the general outcome, we have the Hierophant in the upright. So if you want to um, follow me into the Vimeo video for part two, I'll break this down. I'll pull clarifiers in, on all of this. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and, you know, have your interpretation from this. I want you to at least see the free portion to see what you, I laid out for you guys.